717 and what's trending? So we know the news cycle can be a powerful thing, right? Mm -hmm. So when Mauna Loa erupted, so did the San Francisco bar owner's phone. Oh. SFGate gave us permission to use these photos in reports that Kurt Martin owns that bar. It's actually called Mauna Loa, and it's a staple in the Cal Hollow area, which is near the marina. On Monday, hours after the actual Mauna Loa erupted, Kurt says that everybody was calling them, and a lot of them were including the GIF from Pixar's short, Lava, sung by yeah. Juana Torres Cajeli oh, and Napua yeah. Greg, right? Uh, now, this isn't some uh, recent tiki pop-up, okay? This place has been around for 83 years. Oh my years. gosh. Yeah. Wow. Kurt's great-grandparents, they immigrated from Portugal to Hawaii. Cool. Three generations ago, his grandparents moved from Hawaii to San Francisco to open this bar in 1939. Wow. Now, the day that it moved from its original location to its current one, it was on June 1st, 1950. That is the same day that Mauna Loa erupted, okay? Oh. And it was reported in the paper at the time as a, quote, coincidence of the week. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. Kind of cool, right? Yeah, That's very cool. crazy. I wonder if they're getting a rush right now. They are. Oh, they are. Everybody hanging why, out. Which is why SFGate is reporting on oh. this, that people are hanging out there and going there to Yikes. talk about this. Mm. We're getting our first look at the new docu-series on Netflix featuring the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. No one sees what's happening behind the closed doors. I had to do everything I could to protect my family. When the stakes are this high, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? Uh, Harry and yes, Meghan will include six episodes, according to CNN. No specific release date has been set. Netflix ends this trailer with coming soon. Yeah. Life so important that comes with background music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they've been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, uh, Japan is moving on in the World Cup after beating Spain. Now we're going to see more of the team and the players. But maybe even cooler than that, we're going to see more of the fans. Now, the Japanese faithful have been spotted on TV cleaning up trash at Khalifa International Stadium ah, after this. the matches. Yeah, and we saw this in 2018 and, and any international event like that. And in fact, they've been there from the very first match of the tournament. Japan wasn't even playing, but they picked up bottles and wow. food that were left behind in the seats. Yeah. One of the fans was asked online why they did it. He said, quote, we are Japanese. We do not leave rubbish behind us, and we respect the place, wow. end quote. Now, according to CBS Sports, the Japanese also picked up Ecuadorian and Qatari flags that had been left on the ground, saying that the country's symbols command respect. Wow. What's also interesting is, for perspective, they start asking a bunch of different people questions. They ask the head coach, said, well, th this is just what we do. This is how we're raised. This is part of our culture. And there's a Japanese reporter that was there and said, Nobody's talking about this in Japan. This is, this is a non-story. We yeah. pick up our trash. That's yeah. what we do on a daily basis. Yep. Yeah. Having just been there, I can tell you, it's amazing how clean the streets are. Go find graffiti. You can't. That's right. You know, I mean, it's just a thing. It's with the culture. And, and, and we saw that with the Little League team, too, when yes. they came. And they right? said uh, part of it was that they pick up their trash, they take it home because there's no trash cans on the street. Yeah. So the, the government also sent 8,000 trash bags to Qatar oh. wow. so that the people there wow. could pick up the trash after the game. Wow. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, there, about, yeah. hopefully there's a halo effect and everybody yeah, else uh, catches on to that. Yeah, we'll that'd be nice. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's tell you about the weather. The weather's going to be fantastic.